Hi, today I'll show you how to install and configure Zimra mail server on Ubuntu 18.4 LTS version. Before going to the installation, we have some prerequisite to complete. First, we have to configure our domain's DNS server. We need to create the MX record or mail server record pointing to our server IP. Then we have to check the DNS settings are OK and reachable from the internet. Our server should be found from the internet so that other mail server can communicate with our server for email delivery. Secondly, we will prepare our server's hostname, domain name, and check that our server also can query its MX record. Then we will start the installation process. So let's configure the DNS first. My domain is purchased from GoDaddy, so we will configure GoDaddy DNS server. Here we can see that uh, my domain name is mailserverguru.com. Let's go to the DNS setting. First, we have to create our A record or the host record. Let's create the A record. Our host name is mailer, points to this IP address. Click save. Now we have added the A record for our host name. Now add the MX record. Host should be at the rate. At the rate means the domain name points to our host name. Priority can be 5, can be 10. No problem with that. So let's click save. So we have added the A record for the host record and the mx record for our domain mx record means the mail server record mail server guru.com's mail server will be mailer.mailserverguru.com which ip address is this one so let's check these settings from the internet first check the a record it should give us the public ip address of this host so it is giving us the public IP address. Now let's check the MX record. Now it is giving us the hostname and IP address of the preferred mail server for this domain mailserverguru.com. So now we have uh, tested that our DNS settings are OK. Our public IP is resolvable from the Internet. So it is reachable or not. Can we can test it? Let's go to the lg dot level three dot net so let's enter the host name here and click submit so it will give a ping request it will check that the server is up or not so success rate send received one by one one packet sent and it is received so our server is live so let's start the server configuration now in the server let's uh, first check the our operating system version it is 18.4 let's check the host name host name is mailer and let's check the fqdn of our host name it is mailer.mailserverguru.com so our dns domain name is the mail server go.com that's okay now let's check the mx record of this domain so from our server our server can find that mailer.mailserverbook.com is the authorized mail server for this domain so from our server part we are also done now one thing I need to show you that I have set up a private IP address. Let's show you uh, my setup diagram here. For better protection from internet, my server uh, 191.6.99.50 it is actually a private server. Uh, my server is behind a firewall. I'm using my private name server locally here 99.25. I have pointed my MX record 
to my firewall's public IP address. A mail will come to this public interface first, then the mail will be redirected to my local server uh, by the firewall after checking spam and virus sources. This design is for a security purpose. Uh, I could I could uh, design the mail server like this that uh, I can assign my public IP directly to my server, but it will be um, open to the internet. So a uh, spammer or hacker will find my server uh, very easily to send spam and viruses. So it is always better to uh, to set up the uh, mail server behind a firewall. Let's start the installation process. Let's download the latest release of Zimra collaboration server. GCS 8 is the major version. Now we have completed downloading the package. Let's untie it. Let's rename it to a short one. Let's start the install.sh. Do you agree the term? Yes. Use Zimbra package repository. Yes. Configuring package repository. Here we can see that lots of uh, package will be downloaded from the repository and it will install from the internet. So install Zimbra LDAP, yes. Zimbra logger, MTA, DNS cache, SNMP store, Apache, Spell, Memcached, Proxy, Driver. Uh, install Zimbra IMFD beta for evaluation only. So we are not selecting this one. Zimbra chat, okay. So this system will be modified, continue, yes. Now it will take some time. Um, it is showing that Zimbra Apache component and some other components will be downloaded and installed. Some of the packages are already in the bundle and rest of the thing will be downloaded from the internet. Now after a long wait, uh, it's almost 15 minutes. Now it shows that Zimbra proxy components done, removing OPT Zimbra, removing Zimbra content entry, now installing the repo packages. Now it's installing local packages. Time zone data common for LDAP logger, MTA, DNS cache. Installing extra packages, Zimbra drive, patch. Now it's done installing the package. Now it's doing the uh, post installation configuration. It shows a DNS error resolving MX for mailer. It is suggested that their domain name have an MX record. So Zimbra is confused uh, that it is taking my whole FQDN as the domain name. Change domain name, yes. Create domain name. Okay, let's write mail server guru.com now it easily finds its mx this entry it is getting from um, my local dns server so zimbra will be configured on this local ip let's type 7 let's type 4 for the admin password let's type a easy one or for the previous menu a for apply the config save data to your file yes the system will be modified yes setting local config values now it will save the configuration on the local file and prepare the final setup i'm initializing the core config for the certificate authority and it will install the local private ssl it's configuring the Application password, postfix password, MOVs, Nginx, all are open source packages. Zimbra is full of open source packages.
So similar is creating the domain mailservergo.com and creating admin account. This will be our administrative account. If you see this error during your installation time, uh, please let me know on the comment box. I will try to help you to resolve the issue. now it's uh, completed the installation process now it's asking that uh, do i want to notify zimbra for my installation yes no no problem with that now it's a completely finished configuration it says the configuration complete press enter to exit now let's check the interface Log into the panel. Now it shows that our services are running and everything is fine. Let's first create our uh, new user. Open his mail. Let's create a mail, test mail. Let's send it to Gmail. Test one. Test one. Now let's send it. Let's see the log. It says the status sent. It goes to the Google's mail. So if we see on our mailbox, we can see that a new mail came from the Munna at mailserverguru.com. So let's reply to it. Test one. Received. We can see the log live log here. Now it shows that mail came from gmail.com Recipient is the two munatmailsabraku.com. Now it delivered and removed from the queue. So let's see on our webmail. Okay, now we have successfully installed and configured our new Zimbra installation on Ubuntu 18.4 LTS version. So our Zimbra is successfully running. So thank you for being with me. If you still didn't subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. If you see that my video making is helpful for you, please share and like the video. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video.